getting a high quality photo is not as easy as one, two, three. Any professional photographer would know it's not just about creativity. A recent photo marathon put this skill combination to the test. Students were in the spotlight, their competence with the camera in focus. We're here at De La Salle University for a photo marathon involving 65 participating schools. They'll get a chance to learn from the masters some tips on how to shoot award-winning photos. Their DSLRs in hand, the young participants roamed around Taft Avenue, Manila to look for unique subjects. In the sidelines were 13 master photographers called Crusaders of Light. Raymond Isaac, Sarah Black, John Shua, Tun De Leon, Joe Avila, Jay Tablante, Doc Marlon Pecho, Val Rodriguez, Wink Tismans, Ernie Sarmiento, Ellie Tihanki, and Dino Lara and June Miranda. These pros believe there are factors aspiring photographers need to consider for them to capture even just one fascinating photo. We don't have an equal eye. One is smaller or bigger than the other. The small eye is always closer to the camera. So that way, it equalizes itself. My advice to the newbies is that you study what makes a good or a great photo, right? It doesn't mean that you have to duplicate it, but understand why these masters choose this type of angle, their exposure, or choose the subject. From there, then you start to develop your own style. Participants were all ears and eyes. Learning from the masters made their whole experience that day both overwhelming and fulfilling. I think I got in touch with my inner photographer because I haven't been um, using my camera in a while and I got to be more creative and spend time with my friends. Agatha May Albano from the St. Scholastica's College took home the grand prize in the point-and-shoot category, while De La Salle College of St. Benil's Raymond Paredes is the winner in the camera with interchangeable lenses category. And we're very happy to see how the youth have really embraced the art of photography, especially with advancements in technology like the equipment of Wi-Fi and NFC in our new cameras. For those who missed this competition's university leg, another chance awaits in the Canon Photo Marathon 2014 on November 8th. This is Pat Fernandez for 9 News.